begin the afternoon with a new season of films reflecting yesterday's Britain, which have been chosen by Leslie Halliwell, who now introduces the first of them. We're in the famous Granada Cinema in Tooting, South London, with its elaborate Commissar Jeffsky decor. And we're here to introduce a series of film shows about Britain's past. Over the next nine weeks, we will in fact show you 17 complete programmes, each with a feature film plus, as they used to say, specially selected shorts. And if you watch them all, we think you'll have had some stimulating glimpses into the way things were in this country over various periods of its history. Most of these films probably played when they were new in this magnificent auditorium, which seats nearly 3,000 people. These days, alas, it houses nothing but bingo. All the films in this season were intended to entertain, although some of them did have a secondary purpose as propaganda. First of all, we're going to show you South Riding. This is a very rare example of a 1937, that's pre-war, British film, which was shot entirely on location. It was the work of two distinguished producers, Alexander Corda and Victor Saville, and it was based on a best-selling novel which put on record a few Anglo-Saxon attitudes of its period. The scene is Yorkshire, and Yorkshire consists of three ridings, north, west, and east. A riding was originally a, a thirding or thridding, it meant one third. The author here invented a fourth as a backdrop for her picture of small town English politics during the years when Hitler was coming to power. South Riding has a, an absolutely marvellous all-star cast, and we hope you will find that it still dazzles. Mm -hmm. 